it's your girl Jen and today we have a brand new episode of What Would Jen Wear? And if you're new here, this segment is where you tweet me your fashion dilemma and I answer them using the items in my wardrobe. <laughs> and if you enjoy fashion Q&As like this, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Uh, the button should be somewhere down below. So with that said, let's get started with the first dilemma. The first question comes from Alicia. She asks, how to style the fishnet trend? I've been seeing this fishnet trend spike up on my Instagram the past few months, and this is one of my favorite ways to pair this tricky piece of hosiery. I've gone for something more polished because fishnets can look a little messy sometimes. I have this thrifted satin coat from Goodwill, and I actually really love the oversized shoulders because it gives it kind of like a retro high fashion vibe. Underneath, I wore a plain black turtleneck, and then I rocked this true blue denim skirt to add a pop of color. Personally, I love when I pair fishnets with a mini skirt because you just get the most out of the pattern. I've added a white western belt to cinch the waist, and I popped on a pierce beret for some edgy class. The next question comes from Ileana. How do I style pajama-inspired pieces without looking like I just got out of bed? I recently got this amazing pajama set and I thought it would be perfect for this question. This is super comfortable and I love the pattern print, but with a few tweaks, you can really make it look like you've stepped out of a runway instead of your bed frame. I made the look more tailored by tucking in the shirt and then cinching the waist with the drawstring. And then I pulled up the sleeves so I've got some skin peeking through. Little details like this makes it look like a jumpsuit instead of a comfy PJ set. I've added some blingy accessories like these chrome sunglasses from Key and these bobble earrings from Forever 21. So the third dilemma comes from Xena. I've been in love with the show Daria lately. How would you recreate Daria's outfit so it wouldn't look too geeky? You know what's crazy? I've actually never seen an episode of Daria. I've always wanted to, but when I was a kid and it was airing, it was always playing around 1 a.m. to 2 a.m. And by then, the TV was off, my parents made me go to sleep, so I, I never actually seen an episode. Uh, but this question just reminded me that I need to start it and just kind of make up for lost time. But this is the best outfit I could come up for this question. I actually don't own any green outerwear, so I thought that this olive bomber was the closest thing. It gives it more of a sporty feel, to make it look less geeky. Underneath, I'm wearing the only orange item in my closet, and then I tucked it underneath this dark denim skirt. I think Daria wears Doc Martens, so I just went for some buckled boots from Public Desire. And then lastly, for frames, I'm wearing these new ones from Copenex, and I can't wait to get them prescribed because I think they're gonna be my new favorite frame. Question number four is, what do you do if you feel self-conscious about your body? What do you wear? So when I'm not feeling my body, this is the type of outfit I go for. I like to wear just like a really loose dress and when I'm feeling uncomfortable, like I just hate wearing pants. I hate sliding my legs in and I hate buttoning up. So wearing like a loose dress always makes me feel just a little bit more comfortable. I wore a lightweight denim jacket just to give it some more layers because this dress is pretty plain on its own. I wore some white tennis shoes to keep everything comfortable and a beanie to hide any greasy hair. I think this is a really easy outfit that you can rock on days where you don't exactly feel 100. Next up, we've got Brit. She asks, how to style boot cut denim jeans effortlessly but still look chic. So I've never actually been the type to like boot cut jeans, but 2017 has proved me otherwise. <laughs> so this is my outfit incorporating this type of jean. Since the bottoms are a little on the wider side, I made sure to wear something very fitted for my top. Then for outerwear, I threw on this massive coat from JOA, and this coat just makes me wish that LA got a little bit colder because then this coat would make sense. I got a little hot in this coat, but I wore it for the sake of the look. For accessories, I wore these huge hoops to add a little glimmer and this hoop belt to coordinate. All right, so I've saved the most interesting question for the last. Whatever your favorite art piece, use that as your color palette to create a fashion-inspired look to it. Ah, okay, I just love this question. I think it's so creative. Uh, so if you guys have been following my channel for a while, you know that one of my favorite artists is Rene Magritte. He is one of the founders of Surrealism, and I just think so much of his work is dope. Uh, I decided to recreate this photo right over here. This is just really creepy, it's trippy, and it's one of those images that just kind of really stuck in my head from like my teenage years, pretty much. So instead of being inspired by this look, I just literally full-on recreated it. 
I threw on this tailored blazer from the Kubles, and underneath I wore this cropped turtleneck in a beige shade to match the color scheme. The painting doesn't show his bottom half, but I'm just gonna assume that he's wearing something dark, so I wore these pants and this shoe combo. To match the gold on the frame, I wore my Jenny Bird earrings, and then I picked out my Grapes of Wrath book because it was the only turquoise book on my bookshelf. Honestly, I had so much fun recreating this outfit that I think I'm gonna do like an entire video recreating art pieces. So if you guys would like to see that, definitely write in the comments down below so I can gauge your interest. Or if you wanna tweet me your favorite art piece and like put the hashtag WWJW, I'll try and recreate that too. All right guys, that wraps up this episode of What Would Jen Wear? And if you guys would like to be featured in the next episode, feel free to tweet me at I'm Jen M and just write your fashion dilemma or question there and just use the hashtag WWJW. And yeah, that's pretty much it. All right guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye. 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 Bye.